today's tutorial of affinity photo we are going to take this photo and give it a beautiful blood background here guys welcome to kg designs channel with free graphics design and photography tutorials why waste time let's jump into the program after opening affinity software and opening the image we are going to make a selection of this woman by just using the selection brush tool. So we are going to make a paint. We are going to paint across this woman. So if at all you happen to overpaint just like I did press ctrl alt on your keyboard and paint on those unwanted parts that i've painted so you zoom in reduce the size of the brush holding control holding alt Holding alt, you can remove these parts that you painted, that you over painted. Now I am done with making the selection the next thing we are going to do is to refine our our selection that we have just made by clicking here on this option here in the contextual bar tool so you come click on it after clicking on it come here click on the foreground make some little bit of painting over here and then some paintings here to give it a smooth selection when you're done come here and click on apply now we have now made our selection perfect and clear and smooth the next thing we are going to do is to select the inverse now since it's the woman since it's the background that we want to blur it's, it's the background that we have to select so after making a selection of the woman press ctrl shift and i to select the inverse and after selecting the inverse we are going to apply the gaussian blur filter by just coming here down select light filters and then come here up select on the gaussian blur now we are going to be provided with this dialog so the more you increase the radius the more the blur you get but as we are increasing the blur we are going to notice that this part here of our image is becoming opaque so make sure that the preserve alpha option is enabled so when you are done with applying the gaussian blur close this dialog then press ctrl or command D to deselect now we are going to apply a light filter a light filter to our image but make sure we are going to put this this layer of ours we are going to insert it inside this background picture of ours inside this picture of ours so click on this background select the filters then come here to the lighting filter so we are going to notice that this is what happens to our image so i'm going to click on this handle and drag it to extend the source of light i'm going to zoom out a little bit so you click this handle and move it and then I'm going to click and drag to reposition the source. 
so now you notice that our image is a little bit darker so to increase the light i'm going to increase the ambient the percentage of the ambient at least 40 percent and if at all i want i could i can also change the ambient color by changing the ambient light color here click on it i want to apply light orange yeah like that and when you're done yeah you can close this tab now you can see what we have applied so to make it look more beautiful i'm going to apply i'm going to make another duplicate i'm going to make a duplicate out of this picture of ours play by pressing ctrl command j and then come here select soft light now you come to realize that the soft light that we have applied is very very strong so we have to decrease reduce the opacity so that it becomes more more good and perfect now you can see this is the after this is the before so now you now know how to apply a beautiful background blood background to your image thanks for watching this video stay tuned on the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button stay blessed